welcome to my channel i hope you like and subscribe and thank you so much for watching in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to crochet this beautiful little sweater for baby boys and girls it's for three to six months but you can easily make it smaller or bigger from a newborn size and up to one to two years old in the information box below i'll go ahead and leave you some information on how you can make it smaller or bigger so be sure to check that out and as always if you prefer a written pattern check out my etsy shop i'll leave the link to my etsy shop in the information box below thank you so much for your support now to make this little sweater the stitch that i used is this beautiful bean stitch pattern in the channel i already have a matching little hat if you want to see that i'll go ahead and leave you a link in the tutorial as well it's this little hat that i showed you already so i'll go ahead and leave you the link in the information box now to make this little sweater this is the yarn that i used this is dk weight yarn but you can also use any number three yarn or a ply now in total you're going to need about 123 grams of yarn i used about 40 grams in pink and about 83 grams in white you will need less or more more depending on the size that you bake okay let's get started don't forget to like and subscribe and thank you so much for watching to begin i'll be using this 3.5 millimeter crochet hook and today i'm using this dk weight yarn you can also use any number three yarn or a ply at the beginning of the video i showed you the yarn that i'm using and i told you how much yarn we're going to need for the size that we're making here in this tutorial so here to begin i have 60 chains this chain here without stretching it's measuring about 33 centimeters which is about 13 inches now if your chain is off by one or two centimeters it's okay just continue with the first row now to begin here into the second chain from the hook one two into the second chain from the hook i'm going to make a bean stitch to make a bean stitch i'm going to yarn over i'm going to insert the hook into this second chain and i'm going to grab a loop yarn over again grab a loop yarn over again and grab a loop I'm going to yarn over three times so that here for the bean stitch I have seven loops two four six seven if you want to make your bean stitch smaller you can you can make your bean stitch with only five loops it's going to be smaller but that would be up to you it's another option now to close this I'm going to grab a loop and close make sure that these loops are nice and loose so that when you close your bean stitch your hook does not get caught now chain two again into this same chain i'm going to make another bean stitch so yarn over grab a loop yarn over grab a loop yarn over grab a loop i have seven loops close chain one now this here is one of the corners so i'm going to place a stitch marker right into the chain two space make sure to do the same thing now I'm going to skip one chain and into the next I'm going to make a bean stitch so yarn over grab a loop yarn over grab a loop yarn over grab a loop seven loops on the hook close chain one now skip one chain and into the next make another bean stitch in total I'm going to make five bean stitches seven loops close chain one i have two bean stitches skip one chain and into the next make your third bean stitch skip one chain and into the next make your fourth bean stitch skip one chain and into the next make your fifth bean stitch chain one there i have five bean stitches one two three four five not counting these two that are part of the corner here now skip one chain and into the next i'm going to make the second corner so here i'm going to make two bean stitches chain two for the corners make sure you chain two
place a stitch marker to mark this second corner. And now we're going to continue for the front of the little sweater. This here is for one of the sleeves, the five bean stitches. So now for the front of the little sweater, I'm going to make a total of eight bean stitches. So skip one chain and into the next, make your bean stitch. Skip one chain and into the next, make your second bean stitch. And this is how you're going to continue for the front part of the little sweater until you have eight bean stitches. And all you do is just skip one chain and into the next, make your bean stitch. Now continue, let's finish these eight bean stitches and then I'll come back and show you how we're going to make the third corner. I finished making these eight bean stitches for the front, two, four, six, eight. Now skip one chain and into the next, I'm going to make the third corner. So here we make two bean stitches, seven loops, close, chain two, and one more. Before we continue, we're going to mark this third corner with a stitch marker. And now we're going to make the second sleeve. For the second sleeve, I have five bean stitches, just like I did here. We have two, four, five. So we're going to do the same thing. Skip one chain and into the next, make your first bean stitch for the second sleeve. Seven loops, close, chain one, and then skip one and into the next, make your second bean stitch. Skip one and into the next, make your third bean stitch. Skip one and into the next, make your fourth bean stitch. Skip one and into the next, make the fifth bean stitch. There, I have five, two, four, five. Now skip one chain and into the next, I'm going to make the fourth corner. So here, make two bean stitches into this same chain. There, we have the fourth corner, so place a stitch marker. And now we should be left with 16 chains. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. Perfect, so here we're going to make the back side. For the back side, it's going to be the same as the front. So for the front, I had eight bean stitches. So skip one and into the next, make your first bean stitch for the back side. Chain one. Skip one chain and into the next, make the second bean stitch and so on. Now continue. Let's finish these last eight bean stitches. I will meet you right here to show you how we're going to finish this first row. I finished making these last eight bean stitches for the back side, two, four, six, eight. I have my last chain here. Now, all we're going to do here is just join by going on top of the first bean stitch and make a slip stitch. Now, at the end of this row, we're going to have a total of 34 bean stitches, including the two bean stitches that we have on each corner. For the back side, we have eight, then we have a corner, the sleeve has five, the next corner, for the front, we have eight bean stitches, then the next corner, and then for the second sleeve, we have five bean stitches. So that's a total of 34 bean stitches at the end of this first row. Now I'm going to show you here how to finish the row. If you're making this little sweater all in one color, then all you're going to do is just go on top of the first bean stitch right there. Here's that chain that we did to close. So right on top of that stitch, you're going to make a slip stitch. 
and then you're going to make a slip stitch into this chain two space like this once you're here you're going to chain one and then from here on it's going to be the same um, after i join the second color as i mentioned at the beginning of the video i'm going to be making this little sweater in two colors so i'm going to do the following here so i have my white yarn here i'm going to go on top of the first bean stitch and i'm going to grab a loop with both colors the pink and the white this is how i'm going to introduce the new color here and just make a slip stitch now remove the stitch marker with the white yarn i'm going to continue so i'm just going to go into this chain two which is the first corner and i'm going to make a slip stitch now pull the pink yarn here so that that stitch there closes and now i'm going to continue with the white so this is a corner so i'm going to chain one now and this part here is the same whether you're changing color or not so i'm going to make two bean stitches here so yarn over grab a loop yarn over grab a loop yarn over grab a loop i have seven loops close two chains and one more bean stitch chain one here's the first corner we're going to place a stitch marker and now into each one of the chain one spaces here I'm going to make a bean stitch so beginning with this first chain space here I'm going to make a bean stitch here and then into the next another bean stitch here i'm going to continue like this until i come to the second corner so into each chain space you make a bean stitch here's the last chain space for the sleeve here so make your last bean stitch so for the sleeve here you should have six two four six now we have the second corner into each corner we make the same thing we make two bean stitches separated by two chains and then continue on and do the same thing for each chain space from the previous row you're going to make a bean stitch so for the front here you're going to have one two three four five six seven eight nine bean stitches and then into the next corner you're going to do the same thing i did here two bean stitches with two chains so now continue like this finish the second row i will meet you at the end I'm here at the end of the second row. I finished making these last bean stitches here for the back side. We have the corner, then we have two, four, six, eight. Here, I need to make sure to make my last bean stitch into this last chain space. So right here, make your ninth bean stitch. Close, chain one. So now to finish the second row, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go on top of the first bean stitch. If you're not changing yarn color, then just grab a loop and make a slip stitch. I am going to continue with the pink yarn, so I'm going to grab a loop with both colors here. So grab a loop with the pink and the white and make the slip stitch. Now with the pink here, I'm going to go into the first corner, which is this chain two and I'm going to make a slip stitch now pull the white yarn so that that stitch there closes and now with the pink yarn I'm going to make my first corner so chain one and then make two bean stitches here we always begin the row with this corner so chain two and then make your second bean stitch Make sure you return your stitch marker to mark the corner 
and now I'm going to continue and work one bean stitch for each chain space. So into this next chain space, I'm going to make a bean stitch. Onto the next, another bean stitch, and so on. Here's the last chain space before the next corner. And here's the sleeve. For this side, we have two, four, six, seven bean stitches. We have the second corner. Remove the stitch marker and make two bean stitches here. Return your stitch marker. and continue with the same thing here for the front. For each chain space, you're going to make a bean stitch. So for the front, you're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Make your third corner, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. For the second sleeve, make your fourth corner, and then 10 bean stitches here for the back side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So at the end of the third row, you're going to have 42 bean stitches. So that's how you're going to continue for the third row. To finish, you're just going to go on top of the first bean stitch, join with a slip stitch, and then make a slip stitch into this chain two space and then start the fourth row exactly how I showed you here. Continue like this and just repeat the third row. At the end of each row, we're going to be increasing by four stitches. And continue watching. I will let you know exactly how many rows I'm going to do for my yoke. So I will meet you at the end of that row. I finished making the yoke. I did a total of eight rows. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The last row that we did was row three. At the end of the third row, you should have had 42 stitches. At the end of the fourth row, 46 stitches. At the end of the fifth row, 50 stitches. At the end of the sixth row, 54 stitches. At the end of the seventh row, 58 stitches and here at the end of the eighth row like I said I have 62 stitches or bean stitches now this part here it's measuring right across from here to here it's measuring about 9.5 centimeters which is about 3.75 inches and the chest measurement from here up to here it's measuring about 18.5 centimeters which is about 7.25 inches now at the end of this eighth row for each one of the sleeves not counting the stitches here of the corners I have 12 stitches for the front and for the back I have 15 stitches plus the corners that's a total of 62 stitches at the end of the eighth row now what we're going to do next is we're going to divide the sleeves so here I'm going to finish the eighth row by going on top of the first bean stitch and making a slip stitch I'm going to continue with the pink yarn here so I'm going to go right into this first corner and I'm going to make a slip stitch now we're going to start counting rows so this is going to be the first row here since we are dividing the sleeves so to do this here i'm going to now chain one and into this corner here i'm going to make two bean stitches here's the first one now chain one do not chain two here just chain one and into the same space here make another one there now to separate the sleeves I'm going to chain five I already have this chain here which is the one I used to close the bean stitch so I'm going to make four more so that's three four five to separate the sleeve I'm going to skip here's the corner so that's two four six eight ten twelve bean stitches and right into the second corner, I'm going to make my first bean stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook into this corner, grab a loop, yarn over, grab a loop, 
yarn over, grab a loop. Seven loops on the hook, close, chain one, and then make one more bean stitch. There, chain one. Now we're going to make one bean stitch on each one of these chain spaces for the front side until you come here to the third corner. I will meet you right here to show you how we're going to separate the second sleeve. I finished making these stitches here for the front panel, including these two bean stitches. I have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, and right into this third corner, I'm going to make two more so that for this side, I have 20 bean stitches. There. Now to separate the second sleeve, I'm going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Skip two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve 12 bean stitches. And into the fourth corner here, make two bean stitches. Now I'm going to continue and make one bean stitch on each one of these chain spaces until I finish this first row where we have separated the sleeves. I will meet you at the end of this row. I finished making these bean stitches for the back side. I have 20, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, including these two here at the beginning. Now to finish, just go on top of the first bean stitch and join with a slip stitch. Now I'm going to continue with the white yarn. I think I'm going to continue with one color here for the body of the little sweater. I'm going to continue with the white so I can cut my yarn here. If you want to continue and make it in two colors, then that's fine. Now into this first chain space, make a slip stitch. Once here, chain one and make your first bean stitch for this second row. Now I forgot to mention, that at the end of the first row, I have a total of 40 bean stitches. I have 20 bean stitches for the back side and 20 bean stitches for the front. And under each sleeve, I have five chains. So here I made the first bean stitch for the second row. I have the next five chains. I'm going to skip the first chain and into the second chain, I'm going to make a bean stitch. Now skip the third chain and into the fourth chain, make another bean stitch. So here under the sleeves, I'm going to be adding two extra bean stitches. Now skip the fifth chain and right into this first chain space for the front side, make a bean stitch there. And now I'm just going to continue and work one bean stitch into each chain space until I come here to this other side. I will meet you right here to show you how we're going to work those chains under the second sleeve. I finished making these bean stitches for the front side. My last bean stitch here is into this last chain space and now I have the next five chains. So here I'm going to skip the first chain and into the second chain I'm going to make a bean stitch. Skip the third chain and into the fourth chain, make a bean stitch. There. Now we have the first chain space here for the stitches for the back side. I'm going to make a bean stitch here in this next chain space. And now for each chain space, I'm going to make a bean stitch until I finish the second row. I will meet you at the end of this row. I'm here at the end of the second row. I have my last bean stitch. I have a total of 42 bean stitches at the end of this second row. Now to finish each row, we always go here on top of the first bean stitch on top. We insert the hook and join with a slip stitch. Now to start each row, you're going to go into the next chain space and make a slip stitch. Once in this chain space, you're going to chain one, and then here you're going to make your first bean stitch for the row. In this case, the third row. And then you're going to go into each chain one space and make a bean stitch, so that at the end of each row, you're going to have a total of 
42 bean stitches. I'm going to continue with just one color here for the body of the little sweater. So for now, you're just going to continue and repeat this third row where you just make one bean stitch on each chain space. At the end of this row, you're going to have 42 bean stitches. And remember to finish, just go on top of the first bean stitch, join with a slip stitch, and then make a slip stitch into the chain one space, and then your first bean stitch for that row and so on. At the end of each row, you're going to have 42 bean stitches. Now, I'm not sure how many rows I'm going to do here for the body, but continue watching. I will let you know exactly how many rows I'm going to do, so continue and I'll meet you at the end of that row. I finished making the body of this little sweater, so now I need to do the hem here, but first, I did a total of 19 rows. So from here, where we divided the sleeves up to here, there's 19 rows, and it's measuring from the top of the neckline here, of the shoulder, to the end, it's measuring about 26 and a half centimeters, which is about 10 and a half inches. If you want to make yours longer, you can. You can just continue and make more rows. For the size that I'm making this for, I'm going to leave it like this. I have the measurement that I need. So now I'm just going to make the hem. So for row 20 here, um, at the end of the 19th row, I just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch, cut my yarn, and passed my yarn through that last loop. So now for the hem, I'm going to continue with the pink yarn. I'm going to insert my hook into this first chain space and here I'm going to chain one. Now into this same space here I'm going to make two single crochets. Into the next space two single crochets. Now into the third space one. This is how we're going to continue. So two, two, one. Two, two, one, and then again, two, two, one, all around. That's how I'm going to continue. Now, I don't want this part to be too tight around the waist, so I'm going to loosely make these single crochets here. So continue like this all around for row 20. I'll meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of row 20. In this row, I did single crochets. I have a total of 70 single crochets. Now, if you have two or three stitches less or more, it's okay, just continue. Now, to finish this row, just go on top of the first single crochet and make a slip stitch. This is how we finish the row. Now, for row 21 and 22, all we're going to do is just single crochets all around. So, to begin here, you're just going to chain one and beginning into this same stitch, which is the same one that we joined to and it's the first single crochet just make a single crochet into the next a single crochet single crochet into the next and so on this is how I'm going to work this part here I'm going to make it nice and easy for everyone to make I know lots of people have a hard time making front post and back post single crochets or half double crochets so I'm going to do it this way for this little sweater and I think it looks really nice I did it here for the um, cuff and I like the way how it looks so I'm going to do the same for the bottom here if you prefer to do front post and back post half double crochets or single crochets you can do that as well that would be up to you now continue like this all around finish this row to finish you just go on top of the first stitch join with a slip stitch chain one and then repeat the same thing and at the end of each row we're going to have the same number of stitches for me i had 70 so i'm going to continue with that number and continue watching you'll see if i do two or three rows here so i will meet you at the end of that row I finished making the hem. In total, I only did three rows. So row 20, 21, and 22. If you want to make this part here a bit wider, you can continue and make more rows. I'm just going to do these three here. At the end, I just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch, cut my yarn, and passed my yarn through that last loop. And this part here is done. Now, what we're going to do next here is the sleeve. I already did this side. When you do this side, you're going to do it exactly in the same way as I'm going to show you here. For 
for this side so we're going to go right here right under the sleeve it's going to be done exactly in the same way both sleeves so right here we have three chain one spaces one two three right into the middle one insert your hook i'm going to continue in the same way as i did the yoke where i change yarn color so i'm going to make this first row for this sleeve in pink so grab a loop here chain one and right into this space here the first chain space right in the middle make a bean stitch seven loops close chain one now into the next chain space make another bean stitch chain one now into this next space where i have these two bean stitches i'm going to make another bean stitch there i have three bean stitches so far one two three now we have the chain spaces here for the sleeve so into this first chain space make a bean stitch now we're going to continue like this all around just making one bean stitch on each chain space for the sleeve all around so continue i will meet you right here to show you how we're going to finish this first row I'm here at this other side of the sleeve. This is the first row. Now up to here, I have a total of 16 bean stitches. I still have two more spaces left, one and two. So here to continue into this next chain space, which is the same one where we have these two bean stitches, I'm going to make another bean stitch. And then I'm going to make the last one into this last chain space. Now to finish this row, go on top of the first bean stitch and like I told you, I'm going to be changing yarn color. So I'm going to introduce the white yarn here. So I'm going to grab a loop here with both colors and I'm going to make a slip stitch. Now, before I continue with the second row, at the end of this first row, I have 18 bean stitches. From here on, we're going to continue with that same number of bean stitches. At the end of each row, we're always going to have 18 bean stitches. Now, don't cut your pink yarn, just leave it there. In the next row, I'm going to show you once again how to join and how to start each row from here on. So for row two, into the next chain space, make a slip stitch. Now pull the pink yarn there. Now chain one and make a bean stitch. Go into the next chain space and make another bean stitch. Go into the next and make a bean stitch and so on. Continue like this all around for this second row. I will meet you here at the end. I'm here at the end of this second row for the sleeve. I have a total of 18 bean stitches. Now to finish, we're going to go on top of the first bean stitch, grab a loop with both colors, and now go into the first chain space here and make a slip stitch using the next color. For me, it's going to be the pink. So make a slip stitch. Now leave the white yarn there. And now for the fourth row, you're going to chain one and into this same chain space here, make a bean stitch. Into the next chain space, make another bean stitch and so on. From here on, you're just going to repeat the second row over and over. If you're not changing yarn color, then all you do is just the same thing you did here. I showed you that part already. To finish, go on top of the first bean stitch, make a slip stitch, and then into the next chain space, make a slip stitch, chain one, and then make your first bean stitch. And that's how you're going to continue for the sleeve. Now, we're going to do a total of 16 rows. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yes, 16 rows, and then I'm going to show you how to do the cuff. So continue, finish the sleeve. Remember, at the end of each row, you're always going to have 18 bean stitches. I'm almost done with the sleeve. I have done a total of 16 rows. So from here up to here, there's 16 rows. The last row that I did was in the color white. So to finish row 16, all I need to do here is just join to the first bean stitch 
and make a slip stitch. Now I cut the white yarn, I'm not going to use it anymore. So what I'm going to do is with the pink yarn, I'm going to go into this first chain space and I'm going to make a slip stitch. Now this is going to be the first row for the cuff. So for the cuff, I'm going to chain one and here in this same space, I'm going to make two single crochets. Into the next chain space, make one. Into the next chain space, make two. One into the next and then two and this is how i'm going to continue for this row two one two one all around i will meet you here at the end of this first row i'm here at the end of this first row for the cuff my last stitch here is one single crochet i have 27 single crochets at the end of this row if you have one or two stitches less or more it's okay just continue and join so to finish just go on top of the first single crochet and make a slip stitch and this is how I finished the first row with 27 single crochets. Now for rows two and three, I'm going to chain one and beginning into this first single crochet, which is the same one that we joined to, I'm going to start with a single crochet and then a single crochet into the next, single crochet into the next and so on. For these two rows, this is all I'm going to do, just make single crochets. At the end of each row, I'm also going to finish with 27 single crochets. So continue, finish the second row, and to finish, you just go on top of the first single crochet, make a slip stitch, chain one, and then repeat the same thing for the third row. So finish this part, and then I'll come back and show you how we're going to work the neckline. I finished making the cuff at the end of the third row. I just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch, cut my yarn and passed my yarn through that last loop and the sleeve is all done. And this is how it looks. Now you're going to do exactly the same thing that we did here for this side. You're going to do it here uh, for the other side. It's done exactly in the same way. So make sure to do that. Now, what we're going to do next is the neckline here. And we're going to start here um, on the back side. This here is where we were joining at the end of each row. So this is going to be the back side. So before we continue, what I'm going to do is I have this tail end here and I'm going to join this part here with the last bean stitch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on top of this bean stitch, insert your hook right there. Now grab a loop with this tail end and join. Now there is no right or wrong way of doing this. This is how I'm doing it. So now I'm going to go back into this space and I'm going to grab a loop and I'm going to make another slip stitch. The important thing here is that you join this first row just like this. Now you can go back and reinforce this by going on top of this first bean stitch, grab a loop again, and make another slip stitch. The important thing here is that this part here is nicely reinforced and this part here won't open. So as you can see, perfect. So now I have a space here and then I have this space. So what I'm going to do is insert your hook here into this space that we did um, when we joined. So insert your hook right there or you can go into the next chain space. It doesn't really matter. The important thing here is that we start on the back side. So here I'm going to continue with the white yarn. So bring a loop through and chain one and right into this space that we created make two single crochets. Now make two single crochets into the next chain space, two single crochets into the next. So right in between two bean stitches, you make two single crochets. And between the next two, same thing, two single crochets. I'm going to continue like this all around, just making two single crochets on each space here for the neckline, right there. When you come here to the corners, you just continue in the same way. Here's the last chain space, and then we have the corner here. For the corner, insert your hook between the two bean stitches. That way, there's the gap that's going to be left there is not too big there. There is no right or wrong way of doing this. Just make single crochets all around and make sure that you do two on each space. 
So continue all around. I will meet you right here and I'll tell you how many single crochets I have so that we can continue with the second row. I'm here at the end of this first row for the neckline. In this row, I did two single crochets into each one of the chain spaces. I have a total of 68 single crochets. Now, to finish this row, I'm going to go on top of the first single crochet, and I'm going to join with a slip stitch. Now, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to change to a slightly bigger hook size. I'm going to go up half a hook size. If you're using any other hook size to make your little sweater smaller or bigger, just go up half a hook size you can continue with the original hook size which is the 3.5 millimeter in this case but make sure that the next rows that you do here make sure they're nice and loose you don't want the neckline here to be too tight around the baby so make sure you keep an eye on that so to avoid that i'm going to go up half a hook size so with the four millimeter hook here i'm going to chain one and beginning into this first single crochet which is the same one that we joined to to finish the first row i'm going to make a half half double crochet, half double crochet into the next, half double crochet into the next, and so on. For this second row, this is all I'm going to do. One half double crochet on each single crochet. At the end of this second row, I'm going to have 68 half double crochets. So continue like this all around. I will meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of the second row. In this row, I did half double crochets all around. I have a total of 68. To finish this row, go on top of the first half double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now for row three, I'm going to chain one. In this row, I'm going to make front post and back post half double crochets. So beginning with this first half double crochet, which is the same one that we joined to, make a front post half double crochet back post half double crochet into the next front post half double crochet into the next back post into the next and so on continue like this for this row just alternating between a front post and a back post half double crochet at the end of this third row i'm also going to have 68 half double crochets continue let's finish this part and then i'll come back and show you the finished little sweater I finished making the third row here at the end. It's just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch, cut my yarn and pass my yarn through that last loop. And this little sweater is all done. And this is how it looks. Now, this here is the front. And I'd say that this here is the back side because this is where we were joining at the end of each row when we made the yoke. So that would be up to you. So here's the bottom. Here's the front. And the sleeves. So now let me give you the finished measurement from the top of the neckline to the end of the sleeve it's measuring about 10 inches which is about 25.5 centimeters from under the sleeve to the end of the sleeve it's measuring about six inches which is about 15 centimeters total length from the top of the neckline to the bottom here it's measuring about 11.5 inches which is about 29 centimeters now this measurement here right across it's measuring about 5.5 inches which is about 13.5 centimeters now the chest just the top it's measuring about 9 inches which is about 23 centimeters so based on these measurements this little sweater is for baby boys and girls between three and six months old. Now you can easily make it smaller or bigger from a newborn size and up to one to two years old. In the information box below, I'll go ahead and leave you some information on how you can easily make it smaller or bigger, so be sure to check that out. Now, I have a little hat with the same stitch pattern if you want to make it to match. In the information box, I'll go ahead and also leave you the link to this um, pattern here. You can make this little hat for any size, any age, and use any hook size with any yarn weight. So make sure to check the information box below. Okay, so this was today's tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.